Hey, what's up, you do? This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. And it's a chilly morning for a ride. I'm showing 47 degrees on the air temp. But I have on my heated grips and I have on my heated seat. And today I am wearing my first gear, one piece thermal suit. And I'm snug like a rug in a rug. And believe me, your boy Chris ain't no thug. So, how's everybody doing today? Today I'm feeling good because today I'm out testing my new 21 Escapade trailer. My new 21 Escapade trailer. If you guys been watching my videos, you know, I just picked up the brand new Escapade trailer. And one of the things that I said in the video is that I have the Escapade Elite trailer. But I stand corrected. I stand corrected. This is not the Escapade Elite trailer. It's actually the Escapade Excel trailer. The Escapade Excel. Well, what is the difference between the Elite and the XL? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, on the Escapade Elite trailers, it's a little bit smaller than the XL. It's a little bit smaller. And the lights on that trailer was made for the Gold Wings, I believe, from 2001 to 2010 was for the Escapade Elite. From 2012 through 2017 is the Excel trailer, and that's what I have. Now, one thing about the Escapade, they don't have, to my knowledge, they don't have the lights that's matching the new Gold Wing. The lights will only match the previous generation Gold Wing that I'm out here doing a test ride on my new 21 Honda Gold Wing Tour, and I'm pulling my... 21 Escapade Excel trailer. And I like to give a shout out this morning. I like to give a shout out to my salesman over at Harlan Honda, Harlan Honda, out in Springdale, Arkansas. Cody Edmondson. Cody Edmondson was my salesperson, and he did a very good job communicating with me throughout the entire process. So I just want to thank cody edmondson out there in springdale arkansas and also i want to give a shout out to the the staff the staff out there at harlan honda so shouts out to them guys at harlan honda and also shouts out to southern honda power sports out there near chattanooga for giving me a good deal on my 21 honda gold wing so i'm just out here cruising on this chilly morning i got 48 degrees on the air temp wearing my first gear thermal suit if you guys are looking for a good thermal suit i highly recommend getting the first gear and i'm talking to you on my center 50 i'm talking to you on my center 50 how is my audio sound this morning can you hear me okay how's my audio sounding out there for you guys that's watching the video. I know some of you may be sitting back watching the video on big screen. Some of you may be watching on a cell phone. Others may be watching on a tablet. So how does my audio sound? Is it loud and clear? Can you hear me now? I'm out here cruising on 55 southbound just testing out my new Escapade Excel trailer. Man, the paint job on it is perfect. It matches the 21 Honda Gold Wing perfectly. And it's pulling good. I think it's pretty much pulling straight as an arrow. I know some of you are wondering, what am I going to do with my 2016 Honda Gold Wing? What am I going to do with the Can-Am 622? Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm just going to ride it. I'm just going to. <laughs> well, how do you plan on riding two bikes? Well, I'm glad you asked. I plan on riding both bikes one at a time. One at a time. I have the best of both worlds. 
some of you have been asking, how do I like the new Gold Wing so far? I know some of you have even left comments saying, Chris, I'm surprised that you went out and bought the new Gold Wing. I'm surprised. I, out of all the things that you were saying about the bike, I'm surprised that you went out and bought it. And I'd just like to say to some of the viewers out there that's wondering why did I buy the bike, at some point, your bike is going to get up in age. At some point, you got to make a decision. You got to decide if you're going to keep riding the same bike and racking up the miles and keep and then fix the bike if it breaks, which anything is subject to break. But at some point, it's going to be hard to find parts for your bike. Even the going owners that had the, the 1500. There's a lot of guys out there right now that still has the 1500. But if they took that going into a Honda dealer today on their 1500, the dealership is not going to want to work on it. Honda is not going to work on the older Goldwings. They're going to say, you know, we just don't work on those anymore. Now, there are some shops out there that probably will work on the 1500. I'm sure there are some out there. But here is one of the problems. Where are you going to find the parts? So if you're still riding around on a 1500, and the bike is one of the best bikes I feel that Honda ever made, one of the best gold wings ever made. But if you took that 1500 into a dealership, will they work on it? Or will they tell you, well, we don't work on those bikes anymore? And even if you can take it into another shop that will work on it, will you be able to find the parts? Because one thing you have to really consider is that the manufacturer, by law, only has to make the parts for the model for so many years. I think it might be 10 for automobiles. I'm not 100% sure on motorcycles. If you guys know the answer to that question, put it down in the comment section below. But... The point is that at some point, Honda does not have to make parts for certain motorcycles that they don't make anymore. So when your bike get up in age, your bike is 20 years old, your bike is 30 years old, where are you going to find the parts? You know, now you can probably find some parts on eBay sometimes, but will you be able to go into the, the dealership and order parts for your 1500? for your 1100 or your older Gold Wing. Now, true enough, the Honda Gold Wing is bulletproof. Chances are it's not going to break anytime soon. But what happens if it does? What if you decide to do a long road trip on your 1500? The bike runs perfectly. And you decide to do a, a five-state ride or something. And you get out there and your motorcycle goes down had it told to the Honda dealership would they work on the older Gold Wings? Probably not. And if a shop were to work on that Gold Wing, would they be able to find the parts? So that's questionable. I'm not saying you can't, but I just know that the manufacturer out of a certain year does not have to continue to make the parts. So here's the point that I'm trying to get over to you guys. For all the Honda Gold Wing riders out there, at some point, your Honda Gold Wing is going to get outdated. And once it becomes outdated, you're going to be forced to either keep riding the same bike and not being able to get it fixed and not being able to get parts or not being able to have the bike worked on, or you're going to have to move up to a newer bike. So that's the whole point of what I'm trying to tell you guys. At some point, you got to make a decision. So, for you guys out there that rags on my new gold wing, calling it chicken wing, and you're calling it party wing, and you're calling it a snack piece and a mini bike and all of that stuff, and all of the jokes you guys make, I've made jokes too. So, that's fine. But the reality is this. The takeaway is this. At some point, your gold wing is going to become outdated. At some point. And you're going to either have to make a decision 
to replace it with another bike or you're going to have to just keep riding your same bike until it dies. And when it dies, you're not going to be able to find parts or somebody may not even want to work on it. It's just like those 1500 with the carburetors. I mean, you got to find if you need a carburetor work, who does that now? I'm sure there's somebody out there that would do it. But what would you be able to find the parts for? So I just want to put that out there. Just kind of give you guys some food for thought for a lot of you out there that may not understand. Well, why did you buy a newer bike? Or for some of you out there that may be saying, well, I'm going to just stick with my gold wing I got. And I'm, I'm never going. I'm never upgrading. I'm going to keep riding what I got. At some point. At some point, your bike is going to become outdated at some point in life. So you're going to have to make a decision. You can either make the decision now or you can make the decision later. But you're going to have to make the decision. See, technology is always moving. Now, on my 2016 Honda Goldwing, I absolutely love that bike. I love the way it handles. I love the way it feels. I love the characteristics. I really like that bike. Even the first lady is crazy about the 2016 Honda Goldwing. It's a big, comfortable bike. One of the problems that I have is Honda didn't put a lot of technology into the bike. Now, the engine is bulletproof. Now, in my opinion, they should have put another gear in that engine. I don't know how hard that would have been just to add an additional gear because of a, lot of, a lot of the Goldwing riders out there find themselves looking for another gear because the bike is revving at a higher rpm and it needs another gear so i do understand honda upgrading going to the newer engine and you know this model got seven speed but on the previous generation goldwing it needs an extra gear so honda did not put a lot of technology over into the previous generation Goldwing, they didn't even put Bluetooth on the bike. On my 2016 Honda Goldwing, I had to add the Bluetooth to the bike. Now, I know you could find out there now that it's called the Henry transmission. And the Henry transmission supposed to let your previous generation Goldwing runs at a lower RPM. You change out the rear end to a Henry transmission. But as far as Honda, as far manufacturer they didn't put a lot of technology over into the previous generation Goldwing you know they, they didn't put LED lights on the bike they didn't put a Bluetooth on the bike and the thing about it Honda had the Bluetooth they had it on their 2015 CTX 1300 Deluxe so I mean the technology has always been there but Honda elected not to put Bluetooth on the bike even a cigarette charger. Honda did not want to put a cigarette charger on that previous Goldwing. They didn't even put one on the newer Goldwing. Not to mention, they didn't even put a vote meter on the bike. I had to add my own vote meter. Even being 2021, this bike does not have a vote meter from the factory, from the manufacturer. They got vote meters on the Indian. They got vote meters on the Transcontinental, the Yamaha Royal Star Venture. They got vote displays on the BMW. Every, even the Harley Davidson. I'm willing to bet every touring bike that's out there, for the most part, has a voltage gauge. Why did Honda not put a voltage gauge on this 21 Honda Goldwing? And I want somebody to answer that for me. You guys are love dropping comments. Why did Honda not put a voltage gauge on the new Goldwing? What's up with that? So the whole point that I'm trying to make to you guys is that the 2016 or the previous generation Goldwing, Honda did not put a lot of technology over into that bike. It's a good riding bike, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. It's a comfortable, luxurious bike. I got to give it to it. I call it the most luxurious motorcycle in the world. But the truth is, they didn't put a lot of technology over into the bike. 
So when Honda revamped the Honda Gold Wing and they started over and built the new Gold Wing, they put a lot of technology over into the new Gold Wing. Now, they didn't bike as big, but they put a lot of technology over into the newer Gold Wing. So the whole takeaway from what I'm trying to tell you guys is that at some point you got to make a decision. You got to decide if you're going to upgrade and go with the newer bike or if you're going to keep riding your older bike. And I know a lot of you may say, well, I'm just going to keep riding what I got. I'm going to ride one. And at some point, your bike is going to be outdated at some point. At some point, your motorcycle is going to become outdated and you're going to have to make a decision. And that's what I eventually did. I made a decision. I said, you know, based off the amount of riding that I do, based off the distance I like to travel, based off the frequency of my riding, I decided to buy a new motorcycle. And it happened to be the 21 Honda Goldwing. And let me say this, and I'm going to end this video. I have no regrets of buying this new gold wing. If I can make my decision all over again, if I can go back in time, I will still make the same decision. I know my decision was correct. I know my decision was the right decision. I'm so glad that I bought my new Honda gold wing. That doesn't mean that I doesn't that I do not love my 21 Honda Gold Wing. That doesn't mean that I won't ride my 21 Honda Gold Wing. But with this new Gold Wing, it gives me the opportunity to take miles off the bike that I really, really love to ride, which is the 2016 Honda Gold Wing. But anyway, I'm going to end this video. If you guys have any questions or any comments about anything that I talked about today, if you guys have comments about my trailer, my XL trailer that I now have if you have comments about the new gold wing if you have comments about anything that i talked about in this video be sure to put it down in the comment section below and be sure to click that like button and also be sure to hit that bell notification it'll notify you every time i post a new video and be sure to sign up for the chris caliente facebook group the hottest facebook group in the land and I will include links down in the description of this video to show you guys where to pick up the thermal suit, the one-piece first gear suit that I'm wearing, my Cena 50 that I'm talking on, my HJC i90 helmet. Be sure to check the video description for links. Well, this is your boy Chris out on the gold wing, out on the gold wing. Pulling my new 21 Escapade Excel trailer. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. Deuces. I mean, one of the things I need to figure out is how to work this hill assist. That's one of the things that I need to figure out is how to work the hill assist on this new goal.